You know how every now and then you come across an invention or a brilliant idea and you say, duh, that was so obvious, why didn't I think of that? And it's only obvious after the fact? This generally refers to an idea that solves a problem with ingenious simplicity. The volunteer organization Village Harvest has done just that. They feed the hungry with otherwise unharvested and unused fruit from local backyards. Co-founder Craig Dizarens has played an important part in growing this simple idea into reality. How did Village Harvest get started? Actually, it's a really wonderful story. Uh, my wife was starting to help the 4-H by gathering some fruit from our neighbors for a preserve class she was teaching. And as she gathered fruit, we both started to notice just how much fruit there was in the neighborhood. There were trees all around us, and they were just huge and beautiful. Mm -hmm. And from there, one thing led to another. Well, exactly. So at some point, as one thing was leading to another, um, it, it, it took off. What was the light bulb that raised it to a new level? Well, the, the thing that really, really framed Village Harvest was the realization that not only was there this huge amount of fruit available, but that we could put it to good use in the community. And in the process of growing this, uh, growing, not, not the fruit, but the, the organization, um, it sounds as though you learned a lot about your community. What did you learn? that you might not have known? Oh, well, maybe maybe not. It's something that I would have known, but people were incredibly generous in offering their fruit and incredibly generous in volunteering to help pick it. Here in Santa Clara County, kind of doing some simple things. We're looking at, you know, could be 10, 20, 30 million pounds of fruit. Just enormous amounts. Just sitting in backyards because we have such a fertile place. And how much of that just goes to rot? Do you think? I'll, I'll, based on the homeowners we deal with, probably the majority of it goes unused and, and to waste. Wow. And so that's one side of, of all this abundance that's growing. The other side of things, which to me is an equally important number, is just how many people can actually use that fruit if, if we and, and everyone, everyone that owns a tree, can find a way of making use of it. And it turns out that the latest kinds of things are that about one in 10 people in the Bay Area, one in 10 people in the county are receiving food assistance. Wow, and that must have surprised you, that it was so it was, high? It was such an education in getting into Village Harvest and really starting to understand what it meant, that that was, that that was a high number. It wasn't just a small sense of you know, the truly destitute of the homeless. It was really just everyday people, mm. seniors receiving brown bags of groceries, low-income families getting a little extra. So one of the things that's really great about a, a simple idea like Village Harvest um, is that volunteers in a very short period of time can have fun, they can spend time with friends, they can, they can enjoy fresh fruit, they can see the satisfaction of picking very quickly, but also they know it really makes a difference. That very close coupling between you know, the doing and seeing the immediate benefit, is, right. it makes it a very kind of intrinsically satisfying sort of thing. 660 pounds. Because of your own background in high tech, you have brought uh, a lot to this uh, organization that a lot of nonprofits probably don't have. And in fact, you've been called on to help other grassroots groups start similar organizations. What do they most need from you and, and what messages do you have for them? You know, there's, there's nothing like going and checking out your own neighborhood and actually picking 100 pounds of fruit. But when I talk to people from other areas, the biggest thing that I really encourage them to do is to just get started.